Are you teachable? That is what we are talking about here. Are you teachable? And, and the why it's so important is because many times the strategies of God does not seem to be the best strategy. Do you remember after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness when they were ready to go into the promised land? They have an army, but they are not a trained army. They do not have the, the phalanx as Alexander had with his Greek army that conquered Persia. They didn't have an army like that. They didn't have an army like the Roman legions. They had some people with some sticks and stones and they could break some bones, but they did not, as far as we know, have much military training. So here they are about to go and fight for the promised land. So what's your strategy, God? Well, first we have to get across the Jordan River. Well, okay, do we need to build a bridge? No, don't worry about building a bridge. It seems like you would need a bridge. It says in the scripture that the Jordan River was flooding at the time. I don't know how we're going to get across. Do we need to build some rafts to where we can float everybody across? No, you don't need to do that. That seems like a good strategy to me. So what do we do, God? Well, just stand there. Tell the people, of the priest to pick the ark up and walk into the water. Huh? That's our strategy? It doesn't really seem like a good strategy. Yeah, go ahead and do that and see what happens. So they picked the ark up, and when the feet of the priests hit the water, God separates the Jordan River, and they walk across on dry land. Pretty good. Thanks, God. Glad we did it your way. What do we do now? There's Jericho. We have people, an army. We're going to have to fight. It's going to be tough. What do we do now? Well... Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, all the men need to be circumcised, huh? We hadn't done that in 40 years. Circumcised? Uh, that's not too good of a strategy, is it, God? Because we'll all be sore. And what if they attack us? What are we going to do? Just be circumcised. Well, okay, God. Doesn't really seem like a great strategy for conquering the, the land. So they circumcise themselves. Seemed like they would be open to attack. Well, I tell you what, God, all right, uh, what do we do now? Jericho is the first big city. It's a walled city. We do not have siege engines. Uh, we don't have ladders. We don't have catapults. We don't have trebuchets. How are we going to attack a walled city? What do we do, God? What's your strategy? Well, I tell you what, just, I, all the men, y'all just walk around the city in the morning. Huh? Yeah, just walk around the city. Once a day. It'll work your soreness off anyway. I tell you what, do it for a whole week. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day, get up really early and walk around it seven times. And when you get through with that, holler. And those of you that have trumpets, blow the trumpet. That's our strategy? Yeah, just do that and see what happens. And they did. And when they blew the trumpets and they hollered, the walls of Jericho fell down. Now understand this. That made no sense to anybody with any military training. And for the next five years, they fought to possess the land that God wanted them to have. And they did not have the same strategy on every city. There are times that God said, okay, go fight this city. If you use this strategy, you shall win. Over here, you have five kings that are coming together. You need to use this strategy against them. And understand also, they did not use the strategy of God all the time. There are some times that they say, well, we don't need God's strategy on this. We'll take care of this ourselves. We'll do it ourselves. And when they did it themselves, they all always had failure. But when they used the strategy of God, they always had success. So blessed are you if you are teachable. Blessed are you if you can use the strategies of God because then you will have success in your life. But we don't do that. We use our own strategy. 
We do the things that we want to do, how we want to do them. When God says, this is how you need to run a family. This is how you need to do marriage. This is how you need to rear your kids. This is how you need to run your business. This is how you need to act with other people. We we disregard God's strategies. And most of the time, we wind up messing things up. Whether it's marriages, whether it's children, whether it's parents, whether it's relationships, whether it's business. Because we are not teachable. We do not follow the strategies of God. And therefore, we don't inherit what God wants us to inherit. 